The Zebra Storyteller by Spencer Horst Once upon a time, there was a Siamese cat who pretended to be a lion and spoke an appropriate zebra. That language has been by the rest of street horses in Africa. Here now, an innocent zebra is walking in a jungle and approaching from another direction is a little cat they met. Hello there, says the Siamese cat in perfect pronounced break. It certainly is a pleasant day, isn't it? The sun is shining, the birds are singing. Isn't the bird a lovely place to live today? The zebra is so astonished at hearing a Siamese cat speaking like a zebra. Why, he just speak to the time. So the little cat quickly ties him up, kills him, and drags the better parts of the carcass back to his den. The cat successfully hunts the zebras many miles in this manner, dining on flat minion of zebra every night, and from the better heights, he made bow neckties and the white bells of the devotion of the thicket and princess of the old Siamese court. He began boasting to his friends he was a lion, and he gave them as proof the fact that he hunted zebras. The delicate noses of the zebras told them there was really no lion in the neighborhood. The zebra bells caused many to avoid the region. Superstitious, they decided the woods were hunted by the gust of a lion. One day, the storyteller of the zebras was ambling and drew his mind from plots for stories to amuse other zebras. When suddenly his eyes brightened and he said, That's it! I'll tell a story about a Siamese cat who learns to speak our language. What an idea! That would make him laugh. Just then the Siamese cat appeared before him and said, Hello there! Pleasant day today, isn't it? The zebra storyteller wasn't fit to be tired at hearing a cat speak a cat's language because he'd been thinking about the very thing. He took a good look at the cat and didn't know why, but there was something about his looks he didn't like. So he kicked him with a wolf and killed him. That is the function of the storyteller.